Hello everybody and welcome to part three of my Salty Shaka series. In the last part we got our expand down which increased our faith per turn. Um, seemed like we're in, in the running for a uh, first religion uh, based on pantheons and such. Okay, so when we left, uh, we we're not quite sure what to do with workers. So I think what I'm going to do is get these two in position to do the river farms that we can. But if you look at where our citizen distribution is, <clears throat> we're already working all the best tiles. We're about to grow to seven pop, so one of these would be useful. But, you know, however many turns it takes us to get to eight pop, we're not going to need both of these. So I think we'll probably get started on them, and then this guy can start pre-building the roads. And when it's, you know, timed in such a way that it'll be useful, this guy can divert to doing the roads, and then we'll figure it out from there. That's kind of the decision I came to. Uh, this guy will step in here, so that way he makes room for this guy, which means they'll swap places, shoot, finish off, hopefully. Um... They do have they do have the fire thing, so it's not like we're gonna be considered trespassing for that reason. Um, as for the new archer, let's step up there. This protects the the worker. Um, it only takes us one turn to get here from here, and it takes us two turns to get here from there. I th I'm thinking I'll probably take a peek on this based on what we've seen on Indonesia. I'm pretty sure that camp is no longer there. Um, but if we can just get a quick confirmation of that, seems like that uh, would be a good idea. Okay, China has gotten two faith from quarries, which is actually a good one if you got the land for it. And they do. Um, last we knew, it was not developed as quarries, so she's not going to be racking up the faith. And she's very late to the game, so I would... In fact, it might even be that we conquer that city before... She even has a chance to get a religion out of it, even if those are both quarries right now. So, what's going on here? Um, he can probably just kick this full stop, yeah. And then we'll back up, shoot, so we can't get hit on. And then we can double up on that next turn. And then, you know, extra rep, extra culture. Seems like a winner to me. In fact, instead of coming along here, let's go here. More visibility, more flexibility. That seems nice. So we'll do that. This guy will pre-build road again. He's going to heal up. And you're going to get started on the farm. All right. Almost like a well-oiled machine. Okay. So, we can come here. Next turn, we'll get a peak. Archer, uh, one more, I think. Yeah, we're at five. We're the target is six, four for offensive and two for human monuments. We need the culture to stay running, is my thought. Um, we do know there's barbarians over here. Scouts coming into our borders will heal up, and then he can head that way. So let's have an archer head that way. Maybe we can scoop up some culture along the way. Okay, so he's done pre-building here. We'll come down, pre-build, interrupt. This guy's done, and salt will be available as soon as we can get there, but it's going to take us two turns to get here, so let's pre-build a road tile there as well, which means now there's four turns needed to complete here, one and three. That's four and four. Um, he's going to stick to getting the salt upgraded, because I'm going to love you. He's going to need all the help getting off the ground. It's a little bit of a late expand. Um just because there was so much good growth in the capital, we didn't want to miss out on it by uh, expanding too soon. Um, so I think what that means is it would be a good... So, like, if he moved up here right now, it would take one, four, and this guy would take two, four. So I think he needs to get involved. However, if we hopped up here and finished this outright... Um, we'd be paying on that for a few turns, whereas if we come here, um, we'll be paying on this for like a couple turns, because when it's done, he'll have to move up here using all his mobility and then finishing it. But I think that works out. So Still have the fire icon, so we are free to <coughs> trespass. And that appears to be everything. So yeah, I think I counted this all out right. 
We will find out, I suppose. Okay, let's see. Masonry. He's gonna heal. I'm gonna go love use up to two. Gotta wait till next turn for that. Go ahead and hit him out of the way. Uh, Barb Camp has spawned over there. Interesting. Well, what do you know? We happen to have people over here. And you can see, because we have positive rep, we're not actually being um, accused of trespassing. So we can actually have these guys just address that right now while we're here. I really do want to um, heal this spearman up, but after this, we'll get an Akonda up. And uh, at what point did Yulundi grow? Yulundi grew on turn 54, and I skipped over it. Luckily, this is the tile we'd be working for now, but once that farm's finished, we'll do that instead. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll pre-build the road here, come back, finish here, and that way we end up here and we can go from there. Let's take a peek here. Okay, it is in fact out, so that's good to know. Um, he'll hop up here. Okay, and he's going to heal, so he'll be right behind him. Okay, so let's see. Head there. He's going to be right behind him. This guy can go over there too to help, I suppose. So let's come back down here, that way we're flexible. As for the new archer, let's have him come over here, just keep some eyes on our caravan, because we're finally getting enough units out there to be able to fan out and do everything we want to. Okay. A religion has been formed. How is that possible? Um, let's see. Don't know who it is, but we can break it down like this. See, the Pantheon is faith within four tiles of your city. If I remember correctly, this was a relatively late pickup, so we have to assume that whoever picked it up probably was going under momentum. Uh, resting point with city-states but they, and gardens, uh, plus two happiness in the city. So this isn't the best belief. It's not a bad one. It wouldn't benefit us all that much. We only have the one city that can do a garden. So I'm relatively okay with that. Alright, let's get the Akonda up so we can start spitting out some melee units. Alright, we're going to finish up the roads now. They're going to go on autopilot mostly. All right, he'll get in blocking position. It's a spearman, so we got to be a little delicate here. Maybe uh, get some shots in while he heals up until we're ready to uh, actually flank. Oh wait, we're not going to be able to flank from this position. Okay. So when I moved him here, I should have had the archer come here. Um, but it's good to be out of their borders because that's not going to be a benefit we enjoy forever. Okay, that won't take long. Alright, hop up here, finished roads. Let's see, he's going to be right behind you. Alright, so we can start getting shots on that. So yeah, it does look like he could use a little bit of help there. And hop up here, stay visible. Good deal. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, next turn we'll probably kick that completely out. Alright, finish road, finish road. There we go. Uh, so we do have city connection, but it's going to be on the cheap side because population is low right now. I also see this worker is ready to finish, so we are going to have to drop our faith per turn so that we can actually grow quicker. Um, we want to grow as much as possible, not just because of the science, but also the unit supply. Um, let's see. We'll have him scoot through, and we'll back up. That way when we re approach we can uh, tag team a little bit better otherwise we'd be getting beat up while the other one's taking forever to get into position so yeah so now maybe the scout is able to just squeak through like that something like that alright Conda's done let's start getting these spearmen out alright let's see
Well, this guy might as well start getting on the farms. Yeah, it's a shame that we grew to this tile instead of, like, something along the river. We could really use something along the river instead. <sighs> okay. So he can come over here, finish up this farm. He can come over here, start doing that a farm here. And after that, all that's really left is start pre-building roads to the west, I guess. Um, we'll st It's going to take him... We gotta keep an eye on him because he's gotta be able to move back into our borders. Yeah, it's unfortunate the way that happened. Uh, would have been nice. Like if we got the, exactly this tile, would have been superb. And there we go. All right. Okay. So here I think we should just try and squeak by with the uh, scout. I know the scout's right behind us. Um, we'll go ahead. The archer can't see us from there, so we should be in the clear. So I want to hit the hand axe, because if we're going to get shot at, let's uh, make him as weak as possible. Kind of mitigate that. You get started on that. You do a farm there. And this farm should be ready just in time for that, so that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, it says three to go, so I'll wait one more turn. When it says two to go, I'll back up so we're actually in borders. Um, speaking of which, he can start backing up for that same reason. Um, we're about to have a spearman come out here and a couple after that. So I think what we're going to do with this guy, first of all, let's name him Runty so that he's easier to identify. Runty? <laughs> no, he's not my mother's sister. Um, can we just rename this? All right, Runty, because um, he he's not going to have the accelerated movement, right? If you look at if you if you can picture say composite bowmen like on the outskirts where they can step and shoot, like imagine this river wasn't here, and then have spearmen behind that can move three. If they move one and shoot one, two, three, and block in front, of, that's a really good configuration. This guy's not going to be available for that. So, um, I, th I figure what we'll do with this one is actually act him as a blocker between these two cities. Because um, we'll be able to build up enough of a force to kind of swoop in from over here. Um, but if he's got units pouring in from over here, she has units pouring in from over here, that might be a problem. So, he'll, he'll basically act as a blocker. So, I'm going to actually just heal him up in place. Um, for now, let's see here, 71, three turns of healing in place. And then maybe come up on the hill, get some scouting over here, just to get an idea of what's going on. Because we're going to have fast spearmen spitting out right now. Jerusalem and China are no longer allies, and now we have a camp here. Okay, um, he came out, and so there you can see he comes out with buffalo horns. And then with the XP given, we have the option of getting Buffalo Chest immediately, which we should take. I did want to call your attention to the two out of three here. He was born with two movement points. Like any Spearman got this buff, which gives him plus one movement. So starting next turn, it's the same as if you choose like exploration. Your boats won't get the plus one movement until the following turn. So we're going to take this. And given that this just popped up, I think we should head over here. Um... Because we got these archers here, we got some business going along. Well, there's lots of these guys can do together here. Um, so maybe he'll come up in here and help them sort this out, and then we'll come down here. I don't know yet. Um, as for now, maybe we uh, kind of focus fire, try and keep ahead of the game. All right, so I think we're still in flea mode here. Uh, map. Okay, so, oh, a couple city-states. Okay. So we should go meet those, obviously. <sighs> Build order. Now this is something I was worried about off screen. Like, do we get the shrine up to increase our faith? Because it seems like in the past, anytime I've been in a situation where I was like, oh, our faith gain's great. What, what do we need a shrine for? I regretted it later on. Uh, the real question comes down to, um, do we have time to build shrine and library before we would want to 
build National College because I do think after construction going the philosophy is off the beaten path from civil service but obviously um, building that you know can make up for the time invested in that or, and even if you hit civil service a few turns later you're going to be with such momentum that it'll carry through um, I could see as the Zulu's arguments for both like get your MPs and go nuts um, but it's looking like we'll we'll be able to do be somewhat effective before MPs too, and then also the thing to think about is in the capital, what are we going to build in the meantime? You know, market is about all we'd really be interested in, uh, Coliseum. So I, I could see it going either way, but we'll probably will go straight for philosophy, um, which was counting up at 16 turns. This is 29. Of course, the city's going to grow, so that will shorten both turns, both counters. Um, we do have extra workers here. We got a couple of tiles we can chop down for. So I think I'm going to risk the shrine. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is we don't know when this other city is going to get plopped down. We don't know if we're going to have the money to just buy a library outright. And if we can't, then obviously the capital is going to have to be building things like uh, Coliseum anyways. So that's my thoughts on all of that. Um, so there's that. Uh, it is two turns to go, so I'll go ahead and back this guy up so we can get into our borders in time. Uh, looks like we are able to tribute these guys, so that's definitely going to help in the money department. Because keep in mind, it's going to cost us 50 per archer to upgrade, thanks to the honor talent. Um, that's going to be 300 gold. And, of course, you do get gold from, you know, conquering and stuff. So, but we don't yet have the ability to get gold per kill. So, all right. Now, right here is one of the best examples of having that plus one movement. All this rough here. Now, when it's wooded hill, that counts as three movement points. But all of this in here is not hills. So we can run in here, actually help take out the stuff, and then run back down here. Um... It might be, but I wish he wasn't standing here. We could literally charge in here and get an idea of what we're up against there. Because once this is down to just being an archer here, I'm okay with walking away, especially with this thing here. In fact, what we can do is we can shoot here first. Because if that was enough to kill him, he could actually shoot this and we can get on our way. But um, Let's get visibility there. Now we'll head over and actually meet these guys. With any luck, we are first there. All right, this will be the last time he needs to spend turn healing. These guys will get all buffed up. All right, so he can come over and do the wheat, not a right away. So we'll pre-chop that. Makes sense to me. All right, so it's back to deciding this. We can come up here and then next turn occupy this hex while an archer comes down, if even if we even need an archer. This archer should come down here and replace this guy. Because we want these guys to be able to get over to war. Which will be happening very soon. Um, let's see. We only have six turns left there. Um, we're actually ready to take the honor... We're not prompted to yet. So let's, let's hold off one turn. Both for the sake of unit supply and unit maintenance. Um, but we can take that right now. In fact, if we took it, it can come over here and actually help us clear this camp. Maybe. I don't know. Is that worth it? The maintenance probably not he's a uh, double buffalo promoted with movement so um, what we could do is move on to this tile and actually see and then actually actively attack assuming the scout doesn't end up right here which because of zone of control he might in which case we would consume all our movement on approach uh, that might be worthwhile we're actually done up here and knowing whether or not we even need okay having an archer would be helpful so we'll have this guy. Oh, you are in the way. You suck. Three things are to be all right. So there is that. Before we forget, let's just upgrade all the ones we can. And the idea is the two that are not upgraded will basically backfill these uh, human monuments. There we go. Uh, looks like we're up to three pop here, so we'll just lock that in. There's the prompt for the great general. 
whom we can still have moving this way. I mean, I can go ahead and take a shot and then be healing up while the archer gets in place. Um, that might be worthwhile. Because if this thing spawns something, we might be in trouble. We don't have a choice here but to heal up. That's unfortunate. Alright, we will head to Philosophy. And we will head up onto this hill. That is good enough to meet. And not only do we get first gold, but also faith. So, closer to our profit. Alright. So, we'll have him come up on the hill. Get some good visibility. Go here. Check out this. Um, let's see. We're going to start chopping that. I'm good to go. Alright. Scout got out of our way. Good. The archer is now his problem. Another camp has spawned, but that's okay. Um, oh, that's not another camp spawning. That's being notified. That's okay. We can move up here and meet these guys first to them as well. And what we can do is heal up here and hopefully, because I'm seeing some hills here, hopefully he's already weakening this camp so we can just step in and take the credit. That would be great because he's already targeting it and we got to assume this guy's going to target it next, right? Alright, so third pop goes there. We got a worker starting on that right now. We got a couple workers that are going to finish here. There's that. And then another one finishes here. So maybe he comes down and finishes the chop, I don't know. Okay, new one born with buffalo. That puts us at a total of three spearmen. So I think we just address that, yep. Okay, so we'll build another Spearman. And what I'll do with this guy is actually start having him head down. Okay, so we're, we're seeing a unit here. It doesn't mean anything yet. Um, let's see. We'll probably be able to finish that off next turn. The one thing I am worried about, though, is... Great general. Stepping up here is not really going to need do much. And the time it takes to extract is going to be worse. So I think we're better off heading towards the actual war we're going to be getting into here. Um, let's see. As for the new spearman, we'll step over here. He can run quickly over here. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, boat spawns. Not a land unit, which is good. Alright, I guess we gotta heal up one more turn. That's unfortunate. Alright, so he can come down here. Let's see, this archer's kind of out of the way, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this guy should start heading over here. What we can do is step, upgrade, and then replace this guy. He can run off and he'll just heal on the city tile. This guy can come free up this guy. That's the way I see it going. Alright, we're seeing multiple units now, so that's worth noting. Um, don't know where they're going, but... Alright. And this one is finished as well. But we don't need that yet. Okay, so as far as workers go, their best bet is to start pre-building the roads. Uh, this one can come down here chop to expedite that. So if we have this guy come over here, he can actually start the roads along the hills. Maybe this guy gets ahead of him, does some pre-building of his own. Don't know. Um, with him having units here, he's going to be able to see us... Uh, piling up outside, and that's bad. But what can we do? It looks like he's preparing for the war that's coming. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, because he can see us from there, so we can't secretly be piling up.
That's unfortunate. Alright, let's finish this off once and for all. There we go. Alright. So he can zoom, because he can move fast, heal up while we're waiting for the guy to come in behind him. Alright, seems good. Road interrupt. Well, what we can do for now is actually back off so he doesn't see as many. Alright, here we go. What we'll do is make sure he's the last to move so we can armor up and then we can relax if we don't need to stay armored up. Okay, like that. We don't actually need to. That's good. That's good. Alright, buffalo loins. Very good. Alright. Move in there. Gives him one turn to heal up. It's better than nothing. Nope. Should we start the war? It looks like we could do fairly well getting started on this guy. Because he could 1, 2, 3, zone of control, and we can get started. Um, so I think that's the thing to do. Alright. Pre-build road. Alright. That's kind of the end of what he can do as far as that goes. Um, this guy can come down. Well, actually, it would have been nice if he could have come here, because then he can shoot from the side here. Um, damn. He's more mobile, so I should have I should have done it differently. Well, having the blocker leading the shooter makes sense. So he'll come over here, and that way he can step and shoot. Blocker can come in. All right, we replaced the human monument there. Very good. Um, it's war time, so we can check Bug to see you. if he would pay us, but what are the chances? Right? Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's it. We declare war. And it is on. Um, what we should do is radar to see if there's a unit here. There doesn't appear to be. Let me double check that. Good. So now when he comes here, we're good to go. Alright. So that guy is going to be dead. Chop, chop. Um, so I guess that means it's time to build a settler, right? Uh, when we take this over, it'll be three pop. It'll take three turns to burn down. Settler and stuff can be moving in in the meantime. It's a little forward, but it makes sense to me. 19.2 and 5. Uh, let's see. 20.6 and 5. 22.2 .2 and 5. And I'm pretty sure that's as good as it gets. And maybe we can try here. Yeah, that's a reduction. Okay, there we go. That is optimal. Oh, you know what? I wasn't even checking for that. Thank goodness this is the turn it was over. Oh, my gosh. That would have been disaster. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, so let's see. One. Step. Shoot. Ideally, we'll have this guy do the cleaning up. Because <clears throat> he's the mobile one. So we want to keep him uh, flexible, I guess, is the word I was looking for. Um, you stay there. You can shoot from here. And we'll come here because that makes us flexible. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, that's good right there. Um, we've pre built the roads here as much as we can, so there's really no benefit in continuing on. And he's doing that, so we'll just get him. <clears throat> well, let's just get back to uh, developing Ulundi, I suppose. <clears throat> he can uh, continue with the pre building. Right, he's going to do that. We'll pre-build a farm here, and he can move up there. You heal. 
you're going to be the new human monument. Um, this looks like we could step up here if we wanted. <clears throat> okay. So he is chopping stuff down. It's just going to take him a while to actually clear out the camp for us, but that's fine. Uh, library there. And we're in negative gold, so that's unfortunate. All right, we are at the half hour mark, so I'm going to end this here. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. The war did come a little prematurely, but um, being that this is flatland, it should go down fairly quick. It's just this way with his having units here. Her having units here, um, we had to give her a bit of a warning, so uh, it's not going to be as smooth sailing. In fact, it's good that this guy is like this, because what we can do is when we do <clears throat> rush in, we can actually move him into range and then guarantee that the, he's the one that gets shot and back up and by then city will be so weakened he'll have to go she'll have to go for one of our double buffalo uh, spearmen so I think this is going to work out just fine um, Beijing might be another story but we'll get that we'll get there when we we'll cross that bridge when we get to it anyways enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next part take care